Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to say, Ka Halayim La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash. All right, also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well, and as always, peace, love, many blessings unto the elect. All right, this your brother Atazawam coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai with another lesson, Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying, okay? Uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, The Lord Shall Do a New Thing in the Earth, okay? And, um, this is a storm that hit, um, uh, was it Sioux Falls, South Dakota the other day. And um, it was the first time that anyone in that area had ever seen a green storm. Okay. Well, the skies were completely green uh, as a storm rolled through. Now, this is, a, this is a, a considered a new thing. Okay. This is not common. This is not something that, that people are used to seeing here in America. Now, the Lord might have done this before in previous times, okay, in various parts of the world. But in this part of the country, this was never seen, and that should be considered as a new thing, okay? And there's going to be more things that's going to come uh, down the line uh, like this. There was another video or picture that I uh, posted to brothers where the sky actually looked like a sea, okay? The sky actually looked like a, 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 a sea with waves tossing to and fro. OK, so the Lord is going to get creative with his judgments here very soon. OK, the Lord is going to send amazing wonders into the earth. That's going to be mind boggling. OK, just as in the times of Egypt. OK, the plagues that the Lord sent upon the earth had never been seen before. OK. They had never been witnessed by mankind. And when they saw the power and the might of Yahweh by Shema was shy, it, it, it brought forth fear. OK, and that's the main purpose of the Lord bringing judgment into the earth is so that those that are here may fear his power and his holy name. OK, so this is a fearful thing, man. Imagine if you living in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and you go outside and you see a green storm. With what appears to be a tornado forming, man, you, you, you be like, yo, what the hell? OK, so the Lord can get down and dirty, you know, when it come down uh, to, to, to visit this place and the Lord is going to visit this place, man. OK, so like I said, this is in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and this other natural phenomena and things that's going on throughout the planet Earth right now that, that many people are, are like, yo, this, we've never seen this before. So this is a hey, like the elder Ratazza here in our camp like to always say, bring that scripture out. Uh, it is time for thee, O Lord, to work. And that indeed is what the Lord is doing. The Lord is working whether people can see the works of the Lord or not. Those that are in the know, those that have the eye salve and the visions of Yahweh by Shema Washah, we, we see the Lord is clearly working, man. Okay. Now, he's going to start working on a higher level, on a heavier level, where it's going to be more impactful, man. So the Lord is going to do new things, man. He's going to bring about new creatures, newly created creatures, new uh, natural disasters, okay? And I, I'll go into the account uh, in the book of Exodus, Lord willing. But let me jump into the scriptures. This is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. And that's that's the spirit that has me and as well as the rest of the other brothers telling, you know, the world, the things that's getting ready to come. OK, new things, new natural disasters. OK, like I said, new creatures, you know, coming out to play. Apparitions. OK, the Lord is, is, is going to uh, intensify that belt. OK. I like to make the analogy of a father, you know, if he whoop you with a, you know, let's say he whoop you with a flip flop, you know, and that flip flop, you know, is, is, is ineffective. He going to get creative. He going to go get a belt. That belt don't work. He going to go get a switch. That switch don't work. He going to go get an extension cord. Uh, he going to level that judgment all the way up till you could, till you could feel the wrath a true father. And that's the Lord. That's where we get it from, man. Okay. There was times when I grew up, you know, and I got disciplined by my father. He put the belt down. And it came strictly about hands. Okay? It became strictly about hands. 
And you ain't want that. You didn't want them problems, man. So the Lord is going to, 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 to level up the judgments or level up the belt. And we know that belt to be who? Esau, Edom. Pursuing to the book of Psalm 17 and 13. Arise and, and disappoint him, O Lord. Cast him down, the wicked, which is thy sword. Esau, Edom. And it tells you in Ezekiel, the 21st chapter, that a sword has been sharpened and furbished. So the things that Esau is getting ready to come with is really going to, the, the, going to be the judgments of the Lord. Okay, let's go down to verse 22. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what is that one scripture? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, Psalm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm um, jump down to verse uh, 13. Uh, the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. And who are the enemies of the Lord? Starting with the number one enemy, Esau, Edom. Excuse me, Esau, Edom. That's the number one enemy. OK, of the Lord. And then we're going to go down the list, you know, the Chinese, the Japanese. OK, the the the, uh, the Africans, Ethiopians, Libyans. OK, the uh, the Portuguese. All right. The uh, Arabian nations. OK, all up in Saudi Arabia, Indian nations throughout, you know, Bangladesh and, and you know, the Taiwanese, Thailand, you know, all those heathens. You know, the, the, the Hawaiians, all of those heathens represent the enemies of the Lord, not to mention two thirds of our own people of you Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans and you Israelite foreigners. OK, you represent the wicked of our people and the Lord is going to is, is going to stir up jealousy against you. OK. Verse 14, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. And that destroying and devouring is going to come by a new way. Okay? No land on the earth has ever been utterly obliterated by uh, thermonuclear ICBM missiles. Now, you've had the launching of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. Okay? But Japan is still an active, thriving country. That whole country had, wasn't wiped out. OK. This is going to be like a Sodom and Gomorrah, man, on, on, on times a thousand. OK, what's getting ready to happen to America? And it's going to it's going to bring fear in the earth. People are going to have questions. People are going to be making inquisitions about what's going on, man. And the only answer that they're going to get is that the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of Israel, Yahweh Bashima was shy brought grave judgment upon America and various other parts of the world. So the Lord is going to do new things, man. The Lord is going to bring new judgments. Okay. Let's get some more scriptures that relates to that. I thought it was one in another one in Isaiah 42. Uh, it was 41. Okay. Let's go down here. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 22. Let them bring forth and show us what will happen. Let them show the former things what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter of that latter end of them or declare us things for to come. OK, and that's what we do. We, we, we declare things uh, forth to come. We speak on the old things, the former judgments, the former, um, you know, writings of the scriptures. And then we speak on the things that's getting ready to happen that 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 per se hasn't happened before okay verse 23 show the things that are to come hereafter that we may know that ye are gods yea do good and or do evil that we may be dismayed and behold it together okay so hey, we're coming into very like i said uh, uh, um times where it's just going to be speechless you're going to see things where you're just going to be left speechless astonished Okay, mind blowing judgments, man. Okay, mind blowing phenomenons. Okay, mind blowing events. Okay, whether well, the, the the comprehension level of man 
won't, won't be able to resonate with what's going on. Only the elect will, will have the vision to be able to perceive what's going on, man. Because the spirit of the Lord is, is working with the elect. Okay? So the great, and the Lord, the Lord uh, brought a new thing in the earth. Matter of fact, let me get that. That's in the book of Numbers. Yep. So this is this is going into the account of um, Dathan, Abiram, and Korah, okay, which they came up against Moses, um, you know, leadership, okay, and the Lord brought judgment on them, okay. So I ain't gonna read the whole account. I just read a few scriptures. All right, this is um, number sixteen and twenty-eight. And Moses said, "Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works. But I have not done them." Of my own hand okay so you had certain guys that was you know following Moses in the wilderness that was started to come up against the structure that Moses established through the spirit okay and started to add you know people yeah Moses doing what he want to do and da, da, da. but Moses trying to tell them man I, all these works that I'm doing these, these I haven't done these of my own mind okay verse 29 of these men die the common death of men or they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord have not sent me. So Moses says, "Hey, so when y'all get judged, if y'all judge like get judged like a regular man, okay, then the, the, I wasn't sent by the Lord." All right, verse thirty. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit. Then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. So Moses was like, now the Lord is going to do a new thing. Okay. Because at that point, the Lord hadn't opened up the earth to swallow up, you know, whole households. Notice he said, and, and everything that appertains unto them, man. Okay. Meaning everything that's associated with these men was going to get swallowed up. Okay. Now that's, that's a grave judgment. Verse 31, and it came to pass as he had made an end of speaking all these words that the ground clave asunder that was under them and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertain unto Korah and all their goods. They and all that appertain to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. So the Lord opened up the earth, swallowed them, all their men, their houses, their, everything that was associated with them, and then closed back up. See? So the Lord can do whatever. Remember, this is the Lord's creation. So the whole earth is in obedience to, to the commands of the Lord. If the Lord tells the sea to stop at a particular uh, boundary, the sea stops. If the Lord tells the sea to exceed that boundary, then the sea will exceed that boundary. When the Lord puts the spirit on Russia to launch their missiles, they're going to launch their missiles. The Lord put the spirit on on um on Elder Abba Bivens to teach the truth, which lines up with prophecy. And then from there, the gathering of the elect came. When the Lord called, the 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 the, the men that were of that number answered. Because it was it was set up in the spirit for them to do it. So we really all at the at the at the um you know the 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 control, you know, of Yahweh by Shema was shy. Okay? Including the earth. From storms to wind to the grass to the to the to the trees to the animals to the people, man. The Lord can do whatever he wants. And that's what's going to happen. The Lord is, is setting this place up and fattening this place up to bring some very severe judgments, man. And that's that. Like I said, that was just one right here, man. You know, let me play some of it.
back from Sioux Falls. Here's my yard. You see that? So, yeah, man. You know, your how about Shamal Shah is terrible. That's why he was known as the the the, the Al Shadia man. All right, the terrible, the terrible power, the great terrible power, man. Okay, the Lord is going that that terribleness of the Lord is going to be felt again, man. All right, tells you that and what's that? I think Psalms sixty six and three. Oh Lord, how terrible are thee unto the children of men? So the Lord is, can be very terrible, man. He can terrorize you, man. Okay. You don't want to be one of them spirits that get terrorized by your howl by Shema was shot. Okay? So, Lord willing, that was edifying to the next lesson I say, Shalom.